Hey YouTube. All right, so today I'm going to show you guys how to change your pledge, the fee you charge or the margin um, on your node. So essentially, um, I'm doing this myself because I'm going to I'm going to change the margin. I, I uh, when I built the node, I built it uh, with a three percent margin. So I'm going to change it uh, to zero. My pledge will stay the same. Um, the fee will stay the same. The minimum. And yeah, so let's get into it. So to you to do this, uh, we'll be using we're going to be using the CoinCashew Cardano tutorial that we've been using pretty much for every video. So just go ahead and Google CoinCashew Cardano, and then down here it's uh, eighteen four changing the pledge. So to find it quickly, just do a Control F and and uh, paste it in there and boom it's going to pop up okay all right so a lot of this is some of this is done on on your air gap machine um so any changes you make don't take effect for two epochs an epoch is five days so that's 10 days so it's um you know, read, read these. It's it's not a big deal, but uh, a common mistake is if you say if you're 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 trying to take some money off of your of your server. Say you have a hundred thousand k pledge, a hundred k pledge, and you want to switch it down to fifty, and you're trying to take fifty off. Um, you have to wait two two um, epochs for it to take effect. Um, if you do it too soon, uh, you'll actually get zero rewards if your pledge amount your live pledge amount is not is not met okay uh you do not have to pay the 500 ada again thank you okay and yeah let's get into it uh so i i've already um, done it and i'm going to go through it with you so go ahead uh, log into your uh, block producer. I did that off camera and uh, change it to your um, cd node home and go ahead and run this step it's going to out output the parameters.json okay and the the um, calculation it's going to going to use this for calculations so this step here we don't have to do you only have to do it if you're changing your pool meta json so you're changing your ticker you're changing your description maybe you're changing your website whatever um, if you are changing this then you have to do this step uh, but I'm not changing that, so I'm skipping that step. Okay, on your air gap machine. So we're going to copy this, and I already have it here, but I'm just going to do it again. So go ahead and copy that to a, um, a text file, because you're going to have to edit. And then you're going to have to edit this section right here, depending, uh, and also you're going to have to edit, you know, the stuff that you're changing uh but let's have a so let's, let's go in here first and, and i'll edit what i need to edit first take six zeros off so right there so this this person uh was doing a thousand ada uh and a pool margin of 20 percent. wow <laughs> all right so i'm keeping ours at fifty thousand. so i change it right there change this to 340 and then I'm changing this to zero. Okay, fifty thousand ADA. Um, so take those six zeros off. Fifty thousand ADA. Three forty um, is the pool cost and pool margin zero point zero zero. And then the only other thing you need to change is this section. So. Um, it tells you right here, if you have multiple relay nodes, refer to section 12. Okay, so here is section 12. So section 12 is when you were when you were building your pool and you have to put in your relay. So if you're using DNS, I, I doubt that you are. Uh, I'm sure 99.9% .9 of you guys are, are doing um, static IPs. If you're following along with my tutorial series, then you're definitely uh, using static IPs. So go ahead and oh sorry i gotta copy that first copy copy this and replace this section all right you want to make sure every line has a space and a backslash okay 
or is that a forward slash? I never know, except for the last line, okay? All right, so you need to change this section right here. And you're doing this all, this is all happening on your air gap, but I'm just showing you here just so you, you know. So uh, you're gonna have to put in a, a whatever, it's whatever your, your first relay is. And then here, put in your second relay. And if you have more, more relays, go ahead and you know, so six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. Okay. So that's it. And oh, my one more step, my bad. So you need to go to where you uploaded your pool meta.json. So where's my website? Yeah, here, here's my website. So I'm just going to cut this off for a second. Uh, cut. Okay. So at the website that you, you, that and some of you guys use the GitHub or you use your own website, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Um, go ahead and it wants to know. It wants to. It wants to be able to go and scrape this information. So once you have the correct syntax up here and you're getting this page, uh, go ahead and copy that and put it right here. Okay. Go ahead and paste. Okay. Perfect. So this is what you need for this step. Okay. So go ahead and run this on your air gap machine and it's going to output a pool dot cert. Okay. Pool dot cert. Okay. So pool dot cert, we're going to copy it to our hot environment, but wait a second, before you do that, do this next step. Um, just quickly do this. This is also on your air gap machine. It's going to pop out a delegate dot cert. Okay. Now upload the pool cert and the delegate cert to your hot environment. So you'll have to, from your cold environment, put it on a USB, move it to your workstation, from your workstation, FTP it up to your server, and then move it into the Cardano My Node folder. Okay. So I'm just going to hide this now. Okay. So that brings us back to here. So now um, I've already dropped uh, the delegate cert and the pool cert into the, this folder. Okay. So now we are going to um, copy this guy, put it in here. It's going to return the current slot. Okay. So now it just needs to do transactions. It needs to um, figure out a few things so it can figure out the, um, how much it's going to cost and, and your balance and whatnot. So go ahead, copy this. Um, plonk it into here and it's going to output, let's look for the echo lines. It's going to echo our ADA ADA uh, balance. That's going to echo the number of UTXOs. All right. So, um, where's the echoes? Here they are. There's the ADA balance. No, here's the ADA balance and here's the number of ADA, um, sorry, UTXOs. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to pull that down a bit. Okay, next step, uh, just copy paste this one. Uh, you're going to output a temp um, temp uh, file to you, just whatever, and go ahead and copy this one. What it's going to do, it's going to uh, figure out the fees. So this time I'm getting charged 0.19. Last, last video I got charged 0.17. All right, um, go ahead, put this one in. Um, it's going to echo this amount here. All right, you'll be different on yours, obviously. And then build the transaction. So go ahead and do this step. This is, uh, it's going to build the TX raw file. Okay, so the T once you have that, you're going to, you need to take it over to your cold environment and, and get it signed. Okay, so copy the TX raw to your cold environment. Um, Download it FTP, put it on USB, move it over to your cold environment, put it in the, in the cold keys folder or whatever folder you're using, and put in this step on your air gap machine. Sign it. Take the TX sign and copy it to your, you know, reverse steps, bring it back, put it into the Cardano My Node folder, and Go ahead and do this step here. Submit it to the, go ahead and submit it. And then you should get transaction successfully submitted. 
okay? After two weeks, after two epochs, you could do this last step, but you could also just go check, you know, go check ADA pools or whatever. But it will take two epochs for this to update. Um, I'm not going to wait two epochs before I publish this video, but uh, yeah, I think uh, I don't see any reason why that wouldn't have been successful. It says it was successful. Uh, I'm trusting it is. Um, once you're all done this, um, you should go back and do some, you know, some cleanup of your server. Um, I like to go back and FTP everything I don't need. There's only there's only three things that you need in that folder. Well, uh, three three keys that you need in that folder. Obviously, you need to keep your DB um, and your you know GH Live. And uh, your your these these two scripts dot sh scripts you obviously need to keep those and you obviously need to keep your four um, JSON files. But other than that, I, so I you need to only keep the kes s key this guy, the vrf s key this guy. Whoops, missed it. This guy, and the node cert. Okay, so I go back and I'll remove pretty much everything else that I don't need uh, just for cleanup and just for extra safety. All right, guys, smash the like button for me and uh, leave me a comment. Tell me what how you like in this series and uh, maybe give me your price prediction for ADA by the end of the year. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.